Hey everyone, I'm Arvazi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Sweden. So, let's continue where we left off. I decided I'm going to use my great general to steal silver from Kabul. That's going to be a pretty good use of a citadel. However, that might have to wait, because I'm considering declaring war on Pocatello to kill this settler before he starts a city somewhere down here. It's pretty clear that he's heading in this general direction. So, yeah. But if I want to do that, I'll need to upgrade my units, especially my warriors. Which means I have to buy some iron. I got two warriors. Which means I need to buy two iron. Three gold per ten is fine. Alright, let's upgrade them then. If the settler moves somewhere without an escort, I'm definitely going to declare war. I need to kill that guy before he starts a city. I don't want some obnoxious city in the middle of my territory. <laughs> this is still a valid location, for example, for a city. It would be awful if Pocatello started a city here. Also, I might actually have to take a few cities from Pocatello, because Russia is the main wonder spammer in this game at the moment. They have 10 out of 16 wonders already, so I need to start thinking about going to war with Russia at some point to take Moscow, and if I want to take Moscow at some point, I need to be closer, especially on standard speed, which means I need to go through Pocatello's territory and just take some of his cities. Moson Kani is quite exposed from the west, it would be fairly easy to take it, and it's not a bad city, I'll get dice and sugar. Yeah, I think I'll go to war with Pocatello first. That means I should stay friendly with Rome. Yeah, I need to stay friendly with Rome. What about that worker? What do I need here? I might actually have to chop some of this forest. Just to make it easier to attack Pocatello. But let's maybe finish this farm first. I started it, but I never finished it. Also, I need to change my shade routes. Don't send them to Pocatello if I'm going to attack him. Yeah. I have some better shade routes from Sigtuna. And the settler doesn't have an escort. Now I'm definitely going to declare war. Send this to Bezbalik. Looks good. Get another farm. Finish this farm. And I can kill that settler right now. Let's see if we can get some decorations of friendship before that, because I will get a warmonger penalty as soon as I declare war. And some of these leaders really dislike warmongers. Okay. Theodora will not accept. What about Rome? Probably not. No, he declined. Okay, I don't think I can get any friends right now then. What about Russia? Nope. Alright, I'll declare war. Can I convince Rome to go to war with me? No? What about Shaka? Shaka usually likes attacking people, and he's pretty close to Pocatello. Declare war against Pocatello. Nope, he declined. Can I bribe him to do it? No. Okay, I'll just do it myself. I don't mind. I lost one caravan, but that's acceptable. I need to kill this stupid settler. Swordsman. Oh yeah, I'll have to use my composite bowman from the looks of it. Alright, that's fine. I'll use the bowman. Move in with the swordsman and attack that knight. I might save the general for now, just to use the combat bonus for a bit. I'm still going to get the silver from Kabul and a few tiles around it. But that can wait. There's no huge rush. I'm not about to drop into negatives anyway. Farm. Okay, can I sell my ivory? Probably. Oh yeah, I still need to finish a camp somewhere? I thought I was getting extra ivory somewhere. No, I guess not. There is one more ivory here that I can get, but I need my border to expand there first. I thought I had a trade for ivory with Pocatello, but I guess not. Oh, that knight might pillage 
my citrus now, which is unfortunate. Okay, can we actually kill him? No. All right, I'll do some damage at least. If he stays there, I might be able to kill him on the next turn. I could see that happening. So, more farms. And one more upgrade. Can I afford it? Yes, I can. 80 gold. We are down to 12, but we upgraded all our units. I'm also about to get a settler. And that's that on this turn. I need to get some declarations of friendship with someone. I might be able to get friendly with Rome. I still think Rome is going to be a problem, but I'll deal with that problem later. It will be pretty hard to attack these cities right now because of all this jungle. Pocatello is definitely an easier target. Mosonkani is very exposed. All this open terrain will make it easy to attack it with trebuchets. There's the settler. And we got a great prophet. So spread the legion to Helsinki. Then to Sigtona. And I'm not sure about the Ferdios. I do have some quests to spread my religion, I think. Do I? Just one in Vatican City. Oh, that's too far away. Okay. I might just use him to spread religion to my fourth city. Or I could save him and wait to get a quest from a city-state. Then use him later. No one said I have to use him right now. The fourth use will be to get 90 influence with a city-state. Right. Also, if it goes well, I might be able to get a great general from this war. Because I'm about to use mine. I just need that pikeman to move. Hmm, so move here to prevent that pikeman from moving in or not. I think I prefer to heal. He might pillage the citrus, but I'll just repair it then. Okay. Next. I'm hoping Pocatello will send some units to attack me. So I can farm some experience and great general points. I can't actually take Mosonkani with two swordsmen and two composite bowmen, obviously. That's clearly not going to happen. I'm still going to take it, but not yet. Okay. Attack the pikemen. Pathfinders aren't exactly a threat. And get more farms. My borders should expand to that ivory in five turns. So let's be ready for that. I want that camp as soon as I get the ivory. More camps. Spread religion. This should be enough, and it is. Swordsman. So I can get the citadel on the next turn if I want to, or I can use the actual bonus for now, the combat bonus. I'll use the combat bonus for now. The citadel can always be used later. He won't run away. Oh, Theodora wants the creation of friendship now. Okay, accept. I need some research agreements. Wow, I almost lost my swordsman. Okay, I need to be more careful about that. Can I actually save him? Good question. I can't attack the pikemen from here. He got a promotion. Kill that knight. I need to move across the river, unfortunately. Let's do it like this then. This is a hill. So that means the pikemen can't attack my swordsmen. But I can attack the pikemen. Like that. We go out cover one. Definitely useful. Finish the farm. And I'll get my first catapult in just a moment. Let's make sure we are working that workshop slot at all times. I need a lot more buildings in Stockholm, but I need to focus on my military a bit. My plan is to build as many catapults as possible before I get physics. To get a lot of trebuchets as soon as I get physics. And then I'll attack Mosonkani. That would be the general plan right now. Time the attack with physics research. Right, that worker will just chill and wait for my borders to expand. Send the prophet to Sigtona. 
Maybe I should get more composite bowmen as well. One more composite bowmen definitely wouldn't hurt, but I'll finish that catapult, obviously. Next. I'm glad my swordsmen survived. The Mongols actually completed Machu Picchu, okay. I guess that's because of all these mountains they got. There's the catapult. So accuracy 1. Would be nice to get some experience for it, but that might be tough. Not impossible. Let's see. I got most improvements here already. Just change these style assignments real quick. This should go here. Alright. And kill that pikeman. Yep. I would have to attack him with my knight. I mean, with my swordsman. But then the swordsman will get attacked by the knight. I'm not too excited about that. I can't attack him with my composite bomber because of the forest. I can't move here either and attack him because this is a hill. I need to chop this forest. So kill that pikeman or not? No, I don't think I'm going to do it. I will almost definitely lose my swordsman if I do it. If there's even one more unit inside the fog of war back there, like a ranged unit, I'll just lose the swordsman. So fortify until healed. And I can send a worker to follow that settler to improve the wine as soon as I start the city. Oh, he actually moved in, okay. I bet he's trying to pillage the plantation to heal himself, but that's not going to happen. So, this is going to be a city, and I can improve the wine as soon as I start it. He's sending units, that's good. I want the experience, and I can get some experience for my catapult. Just need to actually protect it. Definitely a good idea. Further religion again. Yeah, I need to be careful not to lose that catapult. That would be unfortunate. Focus on that pikeman then. I will kill this guy. Yeah, let's go focus on that pikeman a bit. Do some damage. That should be fine. I can lure him with a worker. If I move here, he's almost definitely going to steal the worker. And then I can get my worker back. Let's do it. I, I love stealing workers. No, he didn't actually do it. He attacked my swordsman. Sell ivory. I think I can get a better shade than this. Yeah, I can shade with Shaka for salt. Accept. I need the happiness. Gain 60 faith. Not bad. That's actually quite useful. Do I want another great prophet after this? Good question. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I still need to enhance my religion, so I need another great prophet. Now, auto-explore on the scout. Let's start that city first. I will be in positive happiness still. Lock the deer and start the plantation. Okay, I need to kill that pikeman. I can kill him with a catapult, maybe? No. Can I kill him with city bombardment? Yes. I can also kill him with my composite bowmen? No, this is not guaranteed either. Let's kill him with city bombardment then. I'll attack the composite bowmen. Then... I have to back up with that swordsman, otherwise he'll get killed. Obviously. I'm keeping the general for now. Oh, and I can pillage that trade route. But not right now, unfortunately. Alright. We'll pillage it later. One more use of the Great Prophet. So spread it to my own city. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Now, worker. Use him as bait. Okay, I'll use him as bait. As for production here, monument, library, granary, and then probably workshop. I need to be careful here. 
Ideally, I'd like to get a great general before I peace out. I don't actually have to peace out. I can stay at war until I get physics. And once I get physics and enough trebuchets, then I can push towards Mosorn Kani. That's probably a good idea. There's the ivory. And, well, we're just going to chill around here. And heal this guy up. I still want to... Did I plunder the trade route? No, I don't think I did. Did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, we'll get it when it comes back. Now, that swordsman needs to die. He won't actually die on this turn, but I can do some damage. I think it's safe to not move the catapult. I actually want the swordsman to attack the catapult, because I'll get experience for the catapult that way. It's fine as long as the catapult survives. Okay, pikeman and pathfinder. Pathfinders aren't exactly dangerous. But I'd like to heal that composite bomben a bit. Keep using worker as bait. Not on this turn. Oh, the caravan is here. Right. Can I plunder it now? Well, no. Is it moving northeast? I think it's moving northeast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's moving northeast. Yep, it will come back. I can plunder it on its way back. Chaka wants to attack Theodora. I don't think so, buddy. Especially since I have the creation of friendship now. Can we get a research agreement? Oh, we actually can. Okay. I'll go for that. Also, we'll be getting a great engineer in 18 turns. That means we can maybe get a nice wonder out of that. And my scout almost got killed. Plus one visibility range, that's actually useful. It might be time to back up a little bit. How's my progress towards the next general? I still need almost 80 points. Okay. I need to be careful here. Attack this guy. We got a promotion. Can I kill him? No. But I got a new composite moment. Hold on, I think I can kill him, actually. Yep, rip. And I need to back up. Yep. Barrage one. I think it's time to get that citadel. Yeah. It's time to get the citadel. <laughs> I might have to block the way, too. Because that swordsman can actually attack my composite bowman through here. So that wouldn't be great. My own swordsman has enough hit points now, so he can just stay here and fortify. Hey, that citadel is actually going to be useful right now against Pocatello. I will remove it eventually because I want a farm on that tile, but I can keep it for now. So, use the worker as bait again, perhaps, but I might not be able to recapture him there. I can use him as bait here. Maybe the swordsman will decide to take the worker instead of attacking my swordsman. Yep, he did. No, that was a pathfinder. That's okay, I can kill him. I'm not going to use auto explore because this scout will just kill himself. I should get open borders with Rom to explore that area a little bit better. Further religion one more time and gift this guy to a city state. I could gift him to Ify. Probably worth it. Okay, let's do it. I'll give him to Ify. Like so. Come here. Alright, that should give me an alliance with that city. And hey, my religion will actually be useful here. Can get two camps, so that's plus one food. The plantation is done. Now... I want my worker back, which means I should kill that Pathfinder first. And I should kill the Swordsman too. Can we kill both? Citadel. 
Okay, this is tricky. I'll get that Citadel for sure. I can move out with the Composite Bowmen and then move in with my own Swordsman. The problem is that I want to recapture the Worker then. Or I'll have to pass on killing the Swordsman. This is slightly problematic. Let's do it like this. Kill him now and I'll take my Worker with my Composite Bowmen. Not too happy about that, but it will do. Yeah. Well. Now I can either attack or move back one tile. It's not quite obvious. I will get attacked by a Composite Bowman and the Swordsman on the next turn. If I move back, the Swordsman will probably capture the Worker again. Or I could attack the Swordsman to do some damage. The pikemen can't attack my bowmen because of the river. Let's attack the swordsman. I think I'll be okay. Oh, I got a heal. Finally. I need a mine over there. We'll get another catapult soon. Yeah, I'll focus on catapults for now because I'll be getting physics soon-ish. I guess I could get one more composite bowmen after the catapult. I'll need at least four, maybe five trebuchets. To take Moson Kani reliably. The more Shebushes, the better. You can never have too many artillery units, siege units, whatever. Finish this. Okay, next. We seem to be fine. And I think I'll just stay at war with Pocatello. Oh, yeah, Ivory. Sell it to Russia for Sven Gold per turn. Yeah, let's sell it to Russia. More money is good. Open borders with Rome, yes, but I'm not giving him open borders with me. I'll just pay him one gold per turn. Or two gold per turn. Now I can explore a little bit more. Okay. Let's grab that scout first and move away from that barbarian camp. So, back to Pocatello. Let's see. I need to be careful about my moves here. One bad move and I'll lose units. Which would be terrible. Hmm. Well, this pikeman is definitely going to die. So that's a no-brainer. I think I can kill the composite bowman too. I probably can. Yep. Maybe. Well, no, because I'll have to move out of the city with a swordsman at 12 hit points. In fact, the swordsman would die if I attack the composite bowman now. So let's pass on that. Fortify until healed. I should also change tile assignments in Helsinki now with all these new tiles that I have. So let's lock the food. I obviously want the city to grow. Gold or production? I need both, but I think I prefer gold right now. The workshop is almost done. I could get barracks in this city too. And focus on military production in Helsinki too. I'd like to get a writer's guild. <laughs> I actually have a quest to get a great writer somewhere. Yes. In this city state. That's only four turns to get the writer's guild. Can we get any useful decisions? Oh, this is new. What's this? Players majority religion. Okay. Once per era. 192 production. In my capital or what? The bonuses you receive will increase. What? That seems like. Strange wording there. The bonuses you receive will increase with era. I assume. And religious unity within the empire. Currently, your religious unity is at 80%. Okay, so I'll get more production if I get 100%. Why do I not have 100%? Oh, I guess it uses the number of followers, not the number of cities that have majority religion. Do I have any other followers? I have some. So is this 192 production in my capital or what? And how is that going to work with Overflow? 
I would like to know that. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works with production overflow. I might have to test that first. In any case, this is actually a good moment to finish this episode. So I'm going to continue in the next part. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.